Hey guys, Dexatron here. Um, I just wanted to uh, show you or give you guys an update on, uh, on on some of the stuff that I've been doing with the voice pack. Um, it's been about eight months since I've released a new video. Um, a lot of, lot of changes, a lot of things I've done. Um, just want to give you a demonstration on um, on some of the stuff that she'll do now. Um, so let's, we're going to jump right in. Um, I'm going to get into, I'm going to be an independent. We're going to actually go out and pirate um, some ships and see if we can get some cargo from them and, and see if we can, can make a few dollars doing that. Anyway, so I'll, I'll, we'll start the game right now. Um, we're going to go online. I'm going to, we're going to go on the, uh, the new uh, casual crew server. I have, a, I have a server now all set up. So if you guys want to join in, you're, you're more than welcome to do it. So I'm going to click on the casual crew and we're going to get things loaded up and um, I'll show you some of the new features that uh, Ava will do. So I think when I started um, eight months ago, I had probably about maybe two or three, two or three hundred commands. Now um, I'm up to about 2000, <laughs> believe it or not, um, you know, just little things in the game that I've done now. Um, so, you know, um, a lot of behind the scenes sort of stuff, a lot of calculations and stuff. Now you can, you can do a lot of stuff with her. So what we're going to do, we're going to be in the station and, um, we're going to go outside. We're going to find a ship. We're going to scan the ship. We're going to see if the ship has cargo. If it does, we're going to attack it and try not to destroy the cargo. We're going to bring the cargo into our ship and then we're going to see how much that cargo is worth. And she should do all this, all the calculations and tell me everything. All right, so we are starting out into the Emerald system. Uh, we have uh, we have a lot of uh, weapons for, for missiles and stuff, Starfire missiles. They seem to do a lot of damage. Uh, we have 10 cargo bays and we have everything we need. So let's get out there and see what we can find. Exit to station. Docking track gate disengaged. Manual control is now required. We are cleared for gate four. Let's head out. IDS times five. All right, so there's a couple ships out here. Uh, there's a Lamfrey and a Falcon. Let's scan the Lamfrey. Scan the ship. Yes, sir. So what she'll do is she'll form up on the target and then, uh, of course, we have to have a cargo scanner installed, but um, once we have, if you get a cargo scanner installed, she, she should tell us if this actually has cargo or not. So she'll scan the ship, see what's in there, and then report back to us that, yes, she does, or no, this person doesn't have. We'll see what happens here. Ship in range. Now scanning. There is no cargo on this ship. All right, so this guy doesn't have any cargo. Let's go scan the other guy if we can. Where was he at? Target. Oh, he jumped. Okay. Okay, so let's... Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll go to another system. Or another... Yeah, another station. That might be a, a good thing to do. Jump to... Where to? Stargate 1. One moment. Searching for the Stargate 1 station. Got it. Checking all systems before the jump. Alright, so this will bring us right to that station. Our spacecraft, you are cleared to dock your gate. This is the Stargate One station in the Emerald system. Okay, so we got some ships here. Let's see if there's any cargo in any of these guys here. Target ship. Target. You are now targeting a Falcon. He is with the ALC faction. Scan the ship. Yes, sir. see what happens here. Who controls this sector? We are in the Alliance territory at 60%. Alright. 
Now scanning ship for cargo. Cargo detected. All right, so there's cargo in the ship, so I'm going to fire upon it. Watch your fire. Watch your target. Now the trick here is not to destroy the cargo, just the ship. There we go. Now I've got a few other guys I have to deal with because I'm I fired upon there. All right. Perfect. So we've got two cargos. I've destroyed them. These guys will leave me alone now. Target. They're all yellow. You are now targeting a sentinel. All right. He is with the ALC faction. Target container. You are now targeting a cargo container. Collect the cargo. Now collecting cargo. Done. All right. We're going to collect this. Target container. Target container. You are now targeting a cargo container. Collect the cargo. Now collecting cargo. All Done. right. So I just picked up two cargo containers, and now I can find out how much my cargo is actually worth per station. So every station I jump into, it's going to be different because every station is offering different pricing for different material. But let's see what it's worth right now. How much is my cargo worth? Calculating price. One moment. Captain, your cargo is roughly worth $330,633 if we were to sell to this station. So I know without looking or bringing out a calculator or anything like that, I know exactly how much my cargo is worth here. So it's worth about 300000 here. So I'm going to jump to another station and I'm going to run that command again and I'm going to see if there's, you know, if there's, if it's going to be worth more somewhere else. Okay. Open map. Jump to. Where to? Lambda. One moment. Finding the Lambda jump gate. Got it. Getting things ready for system jump. All right. So she'll she. I I don't quite have all the map done yet, but uh, I would say I have a good eighty-five percent of it done. There's a lot of places, but she'll automatically uh, set a destination this as soon as you. This is the Lambda jump gate in the Emerald system. As soon as you tell her which where to go with the jump to command. All right. So we're gonna go down here. All right, so we're in the Lambda system. Um, all right, in the Lambda system, and we're gonna go to the Lambda station. Jump to. Where to? Lambda station. One moment, finding the Lambda station. Got it. Getting things ready for system jump. I should get us right into the station. Mercenary spacecraft, you're clear to dock three. Welcome to the Lambda Station. All right. So the other place that we tried to sell the cargo was worth a little over three hundred thousand. Let's see what they want here. How much is my cargo worth? Calculating price, one moment. According to my calculations, our cargo is roughly worth 76,064 credits if we were to sell to this station. So this is quite a bit lower, 76,000. I definitely ain't gonna sell it here. We'll take a jump to another place and we'll see if uh, we can get a better price. Uh, jump two. Jump to. Where to? 
emerald. One moment, finding the emerald jump gate. Yeah, we were definitely better off staying at emerald, I think. Got it. Getting things ready for system jump. We're going back to emerald. It was definitely worth more there. Well, maybe we'll try the emerald station. Jump two. Where to? Emerald Station. One moment, finding the Emerald Station. Got it. Getting things ready for system jump. All right. I like this place. It's really nice. I like the green planet. It looks really good. All right. We have arrived at the Emerald Station in the Emerald System. Okay, let's see what they want here. How much is my cargo worth? Calculating price, one moment. According to my calculations, your cargo is roughly worth $330,633 if we were to sell to this station. All right, so... I know now that I could get 300,000 as opposed to the other place, which was 76,000. Um, I also have written uh, commands to do individual cargo base and find out what they're going for. So let's bring that up and I'll show it to you. Open inventory. Inventory. Okay. So in the first cargo bay, I have biological units, diamonds in the second, in the third I have armor, uh, platinum in the fourth and so on and so on so if I wanted to know how much cargo bay number three is worth I have a command how much how much for bay number three we could sell these armor units at this station for about nineteen thousand five hundred and forty eight dollars so right there nine nineteen thousand how much for bay number four? We could sell these platinum at this station for about $54,325. So individual things you pick up now, you can actually say the name of, you know, the bay and then how much is it worth and she'll tell you, or you can do the total amount, right? So let's go sell this for 300,000 because it's a pretty good price. Exit screen. All right, and we'll just park right here. And now I have a command. Wait for it to save, there we go. That will allow me to sell. So sell all the cargo. Sell all the cargo. Perfect. Um, so that's some of the stuff that I've done, uh, which is really helpful if you're going to be doing any type of trading. Uh, also, you can now uh, find out what the deals are at certain stations. So I've done that command also. So if you're doing a lot of trading and you want to find out what stuff is from one station to another, you can now, when you land at a station, you can now say the command, station deals. Now checking for station deals. Please wait. This station is buying food at a good price. This station is buying medical supplies at a good price. This station is buying solar cells at a good price. This station is buying diamonds at a good price. This station is buying antimatter cells at a good price. This station is buying focal mirrors at a good price. This station is buying fusion generators at a good price. This station is selling textiles at a good price. This station is buying lenses at a good price. Please be advised. Not all commodities may be listed at this station. 
Please check under items for sale for availability or quantity. Station deals complete. Okay, so what she did is she basically went out and found all the different commodities and anything that was over 250% is a station deal. So if you had some, uh, you know, uh, uh, platinum on you and this station was selling it or buying it for over 250%, she'd tell you that that's a good deal to buy, right? So, but when you're buying stuff from stations, not all the stations are, or not all the stuff is going to be in certain stations. So, and, and for instance, in this station I'm at, you know, there's only gold units and electrical units that I can actually buy. Now, I don't know if that's a good price to buy or not, but I can say to her, what's the price of gold? Ah, this is pretty good. They are buying gold units for 205% over the galactic average price. We could sell gold units here and definitely make a good profit, but I would not recommend buying them here. There, so I know buying those gold units at this station is not a good idea. Let's try the other one. What's the price of electrical units? What's the price of electrical units? Ah, this is pretty good. This station is buying electronics for 206% over the galactic average price. We could sell electronics here and definitely make a good profit. So, we could sell it here and make a good profit, but not actually buy it here. So, um, this is really good information to know because now you don't have to guess or bring out a calculator and find out if this is a good deal to buy from this station or not. And any cargo that you're collecting um, now you can find out if it's actually a good price to sell it here and if you know how much profit you're going to make, right? So these are some of the great changes that I've made with uh, Ava, the new voice pack. Um, there is other stuff out there, uh, you know, little calculations and little things that she can do. Like, of course, the fuel is still there. She'll tell you about your money. Um, you know, now the targeting system is a lot better. Uh, she'll give you more information on what you're targeting. Um, so, so it's a, it's a great update. Hopefully you guys, uh, like what I've done here. I'm going to continue to, uh, work on the update. I'm always open to suggestions. If there's anything out there that you think you'd like to see, if I can actually do it, I definitely will. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Um, I'm going to leave a description of where you can download this pack. It's free. You can download the voice pack. You need to have voice attack, of course. But uh, once you purchase Voice Attack, with this voice pack, you'll be able to, uh, to play Evercron with, with Voice Assistant. And, it, and it's um, not just for VR users. You can actually use this with flat screen version also. So anyway, guys, that's my time. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll try to do another video in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.